Hello, hello, welcome to my channel, Dead of Three. So I thought today we will do it this way. We will, um, I'm just gonna cook some uh, butter chicken. It's so easy, so I thought I'd share with you. This is kitchen creation, butter chicken. Add some cream, chicken, and some frozen veggie, and voila, you are done. It doesn't get any easier than that, I'll say. And then basically, you know, I know that you can even cut onion, make it nicer, but I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered. And I guess it's just to show you that if you want to, and you're not being super picky, you can easily cook a meal quite quickly. So that's getting hot. I'm just gonna open this. And throw the chicken in. And just fry this. And the chicken will soon be brown, and then I'm just gonna wash my hands. That's one of the things I do when I cook, I always wash hands like a thousand times. Just make sure I'm super clean. Get a plate, so I can put the spatula on it. Hmm, I got a feeling I need to cut this chicken up a little bit more. Okay, I'll wait till it's cooked and then I'll cut the chicken up a little bit more. <laughs> They're quite big pieces. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Uh, look at that. Ooh. Let's do this. Dun -dun. Yeah. Oh, what? Silly, don't track me. See the chicken? Very, very big pieces, like ginormous pieces. So I gotta cut them up um, afterwards. Yeah, so I'm gonna cook two meals tonight. So one is chicken, um, bite the chicken. Basically, once that brown, I'm just gonna cut up into smaller pieces, add this, add cream, add frozen veggie, and then we're done. Right, the next one we're gonna cook is um, fresh pasta with pasta sauce, and then we're gonna marinate the, we're gonna marinate with um, like pork, and then eat that with pork. I said, where's my pasta sauce? Oh, here we go. San Remo Bolognese, yummy. And I bought some mushrooms, we're gonna add it to the pasta, so that'd be quite delicious. So I'm gonna get a big pot. And the reason why I'm cooking two meals is that tomorrow is gonna be a really busy afternoon. So then, by doing it this way, tomorrow I don't have to cook. Um, And there's a joy of planning ahead. Yes, Eman. Well, you can't, darling. I'm cooking dinner. We can't go to the park, darling. I'm cooking dinner. And it's getting really cold. Why do you want to go to Memorial Park? Why? I offered you before, but you didn't want to go. It's like 4.30 already. Oh, 
Oh, really? Right. There you go, children for you. Um, what does your sister want to do? Can you ask them? Yeah, that's the joy of it. Okay, I'm gonna get at my pork. The pork was on sale, the loin chops, you know, $14 down to $11. Can't say no to a good deal. So therefore, I'm just gonna cut this open, put in the container, marinate it, and then come home and cook it. So I'm just gonna marinate with this. A little bit of this um, barbecues. Yep. Just lots of oil. Gonna keep stirring this so it doesn't go black. Right, so I'm gonna take the chicken out so I can chop them up. Not enough space. Hey? Not enough space. So dumb. They they off they ever they um on the packaging they say this is a stir fry chicken. Well the pieces are huge. Who can eat these things at that? Look how big this is. It's quite pretty big. Should be half the size at the very least. Alright, oh, looks like Eamon trying to convince his sister to go to the park. <laughs> He's such a funny boy. I do have to say, you know, I, I think that like that four years old mark is such a beautiful age. It really is. You know, everything is amazing to them. And they, they're always happy. As long as you um, play with them and spend time with them, they're always happy. Like today, they were doing weeding. Weeding. You know, with my uh, sister. And my sister even drove to like Bunnings, which is like a hardware store. Bought the two younger ones, each of them a pair of gloves. <laughs> so they can do weeding with her. And now they say, I want to do weeding. Is there any weeding in the house we can do? You know, how cute is that? And that's a job that I hate, hate with a passion. And yet they love it. All right? That's kids for you. They're just there to remind you to enjoy the little things in life, eh? And, and don't get too bulked up or too stressed about things. I mean, it's easier said than done, isn't it? It really is easier said than done. Okay, those look good. Except for I might use a new pot to actually cook the curry just because. The other one had a bit of black stuff, right? So basically I just need to turn this on. And I can probably start adding this already. Because that chicken is cooked. Let's see how good this tastes. I have never tried this brand before, so I have no idea how good this is. That's one of the joy about buying these packet stuff. Like you just have no idea what they taste until you try it. Okay. Mmm, quite thick. Interesting. Make sure I get all the sauce and the flavor out. I don't want to waste any of it. Smell good. And I just add the cream. Oh, wash my hand, obviously, just a rinse and it's not chicken or raw meat. Mm. 
might use a new spatula because this is clean now. Mix it all together. Hmm. Doesn't smell too bad. And then gonna bring the chicken in. It doesn't look very appealing. <laughs> so let's have a look. Uh, yeah, where is it? Okay. Where is it? There we go. So that's after the sauce and the um, the cream. It smells really good though. So it look a lot better once I add the frozen veggie, which I will do now. I hope we have frozen veggie. We should have lots of frozen veggie. I got a pack bag of peas. Oh. Are you guys happy playing there? Oh, what? Okay, I'm back. I'm disappointed. I only have these um, smaller mixed veggie. I, I thought I bought some of the more chunky veggie, but I had run out. I need to buy more. Oh well. Add these in. Lots of them. I like veggie in here. Add the more chunky bean. At least I got some chunky bean. It still doesn't look very appealing. <laughs> but at least there's some more green colour in there. Oh well. Right, and basically that's it. That is butter chicken the super lazy way. And you know what? Who care? As long as the kids love it, as long as I put veggie in there. And it doesn't take too long to cook and I'm happy to cook. That's all that matters. Right. That is done. And I'm just going to let this simmer for the next little while. And I'm happy. Right. Next one is fresh pasta. I do have to say I do like fresh pasta. You know, like... There's a beautiful texture to it. It really is. Right, add that in. Ta-da! And that won't take long to cook at all. 
This will simmer. I should find a lid for this. I don't even know if I have a lid for this actually. Is this a lid? Ta da! Right, there's a lid. Get a new plate to put this spoon. Right, but the chicken is done. Right, now I am going to put these away. Cut up the pork. And we're going to marinate the pork now. So I might just take that off and just, no, stop active tracking. Stop face tracking, man. Hey, stop face tracking. There we go. Right. Um, so I'm just going to bring this pork into here. Basically, just going to might need more oil actually. And then heat the oven. Rub that marinade into there. And I might save one piece where I put on the spicy sauce. And that piece would just be for me, right? So the kids could eat. Well, the little one can't eat spicy. And there, all I have to do now is just heat up the oven and then just put this in the oven for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then that meat is done. So I might take that out. Little one. Take this one out. And I will add in this peri peri hot sauce from Nando, yummy. Oh. Just a little bit, yep. Close it off. Try not to use his hands, because this is dirty hands. And just rub that Nando sauce in. Mmm. There you go, done. Guess what I'm doing now? Wash my hands. So yeah, it's pretty easy, really, cooking, if you want to do the lazy way, right? And I have no problem doing the lazy way. So now I can just put the meat out of the way. And now I can prepare the mushroom and the veggies, so. Just gonna get the, the, oh, you lost me. Okay, I'm back, face detection. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna get the glad wrap, not the glad wrap, the foil. Pieces of meat, put my one on the far spicy side so it doesn't touch the other two. Put this side over here. One, two, and this will then go in the oven. And 
And then that's it. That meat is away. Right. So what I might do now is just, I like tidying things up a little bit. So we're just gonna clean up some of these. And put it in the washing machine. Just to tidy things up before we cook the veggie. I don't know, I like to be clean. You know? Especially when you have like raw meat and raw chicken floating around. So yeah, this is the joy of cooking. Okay, um, I'm checking in on my pasta. Oh yeah. I think the kids will enjoy fresh pasta tonight. They haven't eaten fresh pasta in a while. You know, fresh pasta is like four bucks or you buy the dry pasta for like $3.50 or something like that. And it's just not quite the same. So probably just worth it to get fresh pasta really. That is delicious. All right, just stir this chicken up so nothing get burned at the bottom. Mmm. That certainly smells like butter chicken. Right, simmer that away. I mean, technically, I don't really need to simmer it because the chicken's already cooked. The veggie probably cooked by now. But nah, just simmer it a little bit more. Okay, so for this one, um, I'm going to um, let's bring this down. I'm going to just cook this mushroom in the pasta sauce as well as as well as um, roasting them as well. Okay, wash first. It's just constant, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's I need a bigger one. Oh, I don't really have a bigger one. Okay, I might have to just wash it several times. All right, just washing. Save the big one for roasting. Like the real, really big one. Just then you have a lot of yummy juice to suck out afterwards. So I think those are good. Alright. And then basically we're just gonna chop this up to nice small thin pieces. Peeling the skin. I don't know why I'm peeling the skin. I mean, you wash it already. Just more jobs, right? Don't know why. I should Google. I should go to Google and see if it's important to remove this mushroom skin or not. And just like, you know, cutting apple skin when you feed to the kids. It's like, you know, the apple skins are good. Lots of fiber. And as long as you wash it, you know, it's perfectly fine to eat. 
and it's beautiful texture as well. Anyway, that's how I peel my mushroom skin. Don't know if it's the correct way or not, but who cares? It works, and that's all that matters. Hey, okay. ta-da! Put this to the side here, and I'm just gonna go and throw this out. This might be easier. No, oh, this might be even easier. Good. Good to have mushroom in the pasta, I say. Aye, oh, good job. I think this pasta is ready. Just gonna see. Mm, just, just a little bit more. And then, yeah, the other thing I'm going to cook is the, um... Hello, Melon. Someone fall. Is she okay? Cook the broccoli. We got, we got given this broccoli by our lovely neighbor, so... I don't want the broccoli to go to waste, so we're going to add fresh broccoli in our pasta sauce today. All right, mushroom is done. Just gonna wash this broccoli. Daddy. Yes. Can you can do backward crossover. Oh, okay. Keep practicing then. And I can, uh, speed. You can speed skate. Yeah. Okay, just don't fall and injure yourself. Um, yeah, just gonna cut these up into smaller bite sizes. Actually, I could add this to the, um, to the, um, curry as well. Look at that. Lovely, lovely broccoli. Very nice of my neighbor to give us broccoli. Imagine this, he is nearly 90 years old and he's like actively out there mowing his lawn, doing gardening, fixing his home. And he has like a veggie garden so that he can keep himself busy and active. You know, some people are just amazing. Eh? They just don't want to sit down, right? And those are the people that like look really, really healthy. Like he, d I didn't realize he was nearly 90 years old until he told me and I was like, oh my gosh, amazing. And there's some people who just want to sit on their butt watching dramas and TV. Right. So I've been recording for 29 minutes. 
So that's how long I have been cooking for 29 minutes. But to remind you, this is for two meals, not just for one meal. For two meals. Looking good. Okay, so this is a pasta, so let's have a look. Can you see the pasta? Mmm. Okay, pasta is done. Oh, just gonna rinse this out. Oh, I should probably cook, fry the mushroom and then add the pasta sauce. Yes, I think that will be a much, much, much better idea. So let's do that. Take the pasta away. Mm. 